25 years, I've been making paintings, abstract paintings, about identity. Right now, I'm just going to show you one or two because I'm in my upstate studio and I don't have the bigger paintings with me at this moment. But what I want to let you know is these paintings are abstract because they want to talk about my feelings, my personal feelings about identity. I feel in society there's been a way in which we compress identity into singular terms. And our identities are so complex, so convoluted, that they can't be read that way. But personally, I'm an African-American woman who went to a white private school and grew up in an Orthodox Jewish neighborhood. How do I talk about that in singular terms? So I've gone to the role of abstraction to be able to talk about location as a metaphor. I use the map as a suggestion. So all my works refer to maps in loose ways, aerial views, things that suggest that you should be able to locate yourself and place yourself. But ultimately you can't. The ground is always shifting from micro to macro observations and making suggestions of different kinds of things that you might want to name. What, how do I do this? I rely on two forms of abstract language. One, more objective language. We trust things like ruled lines, geometric forms, and uh, primary color. And then there's things that are more felt in abstract painting, which are gestural work, toxic colors, organic form. And I weave these two things back together back and forth together until the work and it becomes so complex that you're not sure where you're standing, what you're feeling, what anything is. I want the ground to be unstable. I want the viewer to figure out how to locate his or herself within them. I'm hoping that these paintings and their complexity and their felt way of making them, they are not pre-planned, pre they are not pre-programmed, talks about a person trying to navigate their work way through information and try to find some kind of meaning in what's left behind.